Hello, Wolfpack fans. You know me. I'm R2 Robinson. And I'm Gabriel Garza after my little vacation break. Al <laughs> Thanks shout out to Alec for filling in for me. Yeah, absolutely. Alec Martinez did well last week. Mm -hmm. Gabe has been working hard around here, guys, so he deserved a little bit of time off. I appreciate it. But I'm here to talk about yeah. Wolfpack. Let's go. He's back. Yep. And we're going to get right to the sports. Mm -hmm. We're going to start this week's segment here with track and field mm -hmm. they turn in a season best performance they just mm -hmm. keep going up and up and up for this team mm -hmm. uh we're going to start with of course leah banks highlighted uh the weekend even though there were about eight or nine prs across the board for this track and field squad but leah banks toppled another record there she finished um the women's long jump with the uh with a jump of 5.64 meters uh, good enough for first overall, but also toppling a, the previous record of five point, uh, I believe it was 5.56 meters mm -hmm. she set this year. So breaking her own record there and adding to the program. Uh, but there was, uh, like we said, pre -Rs across the board. In this right. Uh, the, our freshman, we yeah. had Jared Richard oh, on yeah. the men's side highlighting the 100 meter dash. He finished the line with a personal best of 10.8, managing a ninth place overall. Mm -hmm. Good stuff for him. A freshman. Oh, yeah. Can you believe that? Yeah, he was actually, I've been following this team very, very closely yeah. this year. And he was actually one of the guys mm -hmm. that I've been kind of keeping my eye on because every meet, he's, his times have gotten lower and lower and lower in that 100 meters specifically. 11-2, mm -hmm. one meet, 11-1 uh, in the next meet or so. And now he's under uh, 11 seconds. Mm -hmm. And actually, that's the second fastest time in the Southern States Athletic Conference this year. Right, but he was the only one running, right? Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, yeah, we had a little bit of a, a, friendly, a familiar face on the track. Yeah. Um, uh, this weekend. Megan Temple yeah. uh, made her debut for the old track <laughs> yeah. team. But now that the women's basketball scene is done, she participated in the, I believe it was the discus throw. Yes, she, a senior record, mm -hmm. a senior recorded a throw of 39.19 millimeters to finish seventh place overall, just outside the top five. Just outside of the top five and you know what's, what's what's funny about that is a lot of people are surprised. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm surprised uh, to see her this early but um, I actually talked to Coach Josh a couple weeks ago, and he said we need a little bit more, um, more bodies here mm -hmm. uh, as the Southern States Athletic Conference championships are coming up. Mm -hmm. So he recruited uh, Megan Temple in her senior year wow. uh, to participate, uh, to compete for the track and field team, and she did very well. She actually competed uh, in high school, yeah. but she hasn't competed since then. So to see her come out and get seventh place, that is impressive with little to almost no practice absolutely. going off just pure raw talent and playing the absolutely. discus absolutely absolutely yeah and, uh, so this track and field team nick uh co head coach nick dotson is definitely doing a ter tremendous job with this program and we are looking forward to seeing them yeah. uh in action once again as they will travel uh, on april 7th mm -hmm. uh to mobile to compete in the university of mobile invitation so we'll keep our eyes on the track and field team oh yeah they're off and running yeah absolutely yeah. they're running away with it <laughs> for sure yeah definitely <laughs> track puns anyway <laughs> we're gonna continue to keep uh the ball rolling here we're gonna go right on the baseball where they nice. uh did some impressive work on the diamond on friday mm -hmm. in this weekend's um, series against the number one team in the NAIA yeah. this year. They were, they were great. Yeah, yeah. They, they came away with a 5-3 to three victory over Faulkner University um, on Friday. A little bit of a stunner there. Mm -hmm. But then they, they dropped um, the next two games um, on Saturday, 13-0 in game one, 9-3 in game two. But the big takeaway was the fact that they were able to come out come away with the victory in that first game game. Yeah, that, they, the final score of that game, the Wolfpack 5 and the Faulkner ended up a 3, but the fact that they beat the number one team, Faulkner University, at home, 5-3, to three, big win. I'm going to bring up a few stats I came over. At entering Friday's match, the Wolfpack were 3-28 and 28 all time against the Eagles. Oh, yeah. And having lost the last nine straight matchups dating back to 2014. So that's a big win for them. Hopefully they can get over the kind of hump here that they lost to after that. Pape, the win for the Wolfpack was Joseph Kuchler and getting the save with uh, Jason Roussel. But overall, you know, you take the, the, you got to take the positive even with the negatives, even though they lost the last two. Big win for them to pick up against mm -hmm. Falkner University. And, you know, we'll see what this team can do going forward. Their next match will be up on Wednesday, uh, April 5th, as the yeah. team takes on NCAA Division One Southern University, which is won't be at home though, right? Yes, yeah, it's it's, it's a, kind of a strange game. Yeah. They're going to be at a different venue. Technically, it's a home game for the Wolfpack, uh -huh. and they're going to be at Wesley uh, Barrow Stadium in New Orleans. Um, actually, they play there uh, once a year uh, for a special um, 
I believe it's a special uh, fundraising opportunity. Uh, Coach Faust likes to take the guys out there mm -hmm. uh, once a year during the season. So they're going to be at uh, Wesley Barrow Stadium in New Orleans. Come out, support the Wolfpack if you can. Yeah. But if not, you can check out Alec Martinez and Rob Christie on the uh, Wolfpack Network. They always broadcast the games. They'll be doing the play-by-play -play mm -hmm. from Wesley Burrow Stadium. So be on the lookout for that. Yeah, and uh, we're going to finish this show off in sports news at the uh, Wolfpack Tennis Team. Yeah. They battled nationally ranked Mobile on Saturday afternoon. The men fell 7-2, to two, and while the women's squad dropped a 9-0 decision on the road. Mm -hmm. uh, Mark, you followed the matchup. Uh, what did you see in those uh, results? Well, one thing I'm going to focus on here is they actually had a, uh, a victory on Friday, even though they lost to Mobile, mm -hmm. another ranked team, another tough opponent. Right. They lost to, uh, to Mobile, but they picked up a win against Bethel. Uh, yeah. They swept them, actually, 9-0. Mm -hmm. Both teams uh, did a tremendous job. Um, on uh, Saturday morning mm -hmm. um, against Bethel, yeah, coming up with the win. And one of the, uh, on the men's side, one of the uh, athletes that really stood out to me was uh, Galileo Cabrales. Really? Um, he came away with, uh, uh, with the victory. Uh, he defeated uh, his opponent. And um, across the board, as we said, Stephen Lee has been leading the program very well right. uh, as the senior. Ernesto De Diego as well has been very consistent. Um, and on the women's side, some of the younger athletes are starting to come up here. That's good. Um, Tori Sutherland played uh, very well mm -hmm. on Saturday morning, um, as well as um, Cole Martinez. Uh, and then the seniors, Lauren Rosales and uh, Alex Ma uh, Mancuso. Mm -hmm. So Coach Russell's going to need both his senior leaders and his younger athletes to step up as uh, we are coming down to the conference part of the schedule. Right. So it's going to be great to see these guys coming together uh, and getting the win. Uh, the big wins for the team, and they will next match up with um, another Division One opponent, uh, Spring Hill College. And but that's going to be um, that's going to be uh, next Saturday okay. at uh, the the tennis uh, City Park Tennis Center. Okay. Um, home game for um, for the Wolfpack. So come out and support them if you're in the area. All right. Uh, once again, but uh, that'll just about do it for us. But not quite yet. We've got players, players of the, the week. week. Gabe. Who you got? I'm going with a freshman. Uh, we touched on him earlier mm -hmm. in the show. I'm going to go with Jet Richard. Ah, oh, I was going to pick him. <laughs> well, he did such a great oh. work in, his, in the tournament at the Invitational. I could not pass up the opportunity to uh, pick him as my player of the week. <laughs> he, like I said, we're just going to go over it, the fact that yeah. he highlighted the 100 meter dash, uh, feeling 10.89, a personal mm -hmm. best for him. He is my player of the week, and I look forward to seeing what he can do going forward in his uh, sophomore, junior years. That's what I get for letting you go first. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> uh, so what are you going to go with? It's forcing me to, uh, forcing my hand here. Uh -huh. Luckily, though, I'm always prepared. I'm going to pick, uh, I'm going to go with Galileo Cabrales for the tennis squad. Okay. He uh, actually finished the weekend 4-0 because mm -hmm. he got the only two victories um, on the men's side in the loss to Mobile. Got the two victories um, against Bethel in the sweep. Right. So he's really stepping up his game, doing what he needs to do to kind of uh, put the men's uh, tennis team kind of on track here as conference is coming underway they're right now they're at 500 but he's a big part of what they've been doing good young talent there and coach russell's got to be happy about seeing his young athletes young players stepping up to the plate and um getting it done for the team yeah that's, i think that's yeah. one of the first time we've chosen a tennis player as our player of the week yeah so that's, that's a good and, and two freshmen so far yeah two, Friday. <laughs> <laughs> even though it's yeah it's, it's, yeah, not it's Friday. monday but whatever it's fine <laughs> Uh, so we picked two freshmen and mm -hmm. top players of the week. Yeah, um, and uh, I guess that's going to wrap it us up here. We okay. have uh, no more time. We'll be back next week for another Wolfpack Weekly Report. Uh, you can follow us on all our social media. That will be down there below. Um, yeah, so I guess that's it. Uh, I'm Gabriel Garza. <laughs> I'm R.T. Robinson. And I'll be back next, next week. Time.